Okay, I'm going to show you guys how if you have a Revolt V1 or V2 and you want to get Betaflight on it, I'm going to show you how to get this process done. So if you go to Race Flight 1, and my Revolt's already hooked up, you'll see that here, version 193, uh, Race Flight Configurator 227. Whatever the situation is, you either have update firmware here or you have it here or here if you click oops sorry if, if you click and you put reboot reboot flight controller in dfu it's in dfu and then all you have to do is actually exit out of that and go to beta flight once you're in beta flight you'll see dfu right here this is on a mac by the way um if you're in DFU, then all you need to do is go to Firmware Flasher, go to Revolt, where, let's see here, Revolt and 317. Choose No Boot Sequence because it will actually put it uh, like it's like it's starting out from stock, not that it already has the bootloader on there. Uh, Flash on Connect, you don't really need to. Full Chip Erase, yes. And uh, Load Firmware Online. Once you load firmware online, click Flash Firmware. It'll take a second. Once you do this, I'm going to show you the, the settings that I've been doing for literally like six, seven months, ever since 3.1 came out. Um, there have been people that complained about their quad doesn't fly right, this, that, and the other thing. And even though I've been on race flight for the last year and a half, and now I am not, um, I am tuning it like I used to tune it before, which is taking your gyro notch filters, which I don't ever think they should have ever been in there in the first place, taking them out and then changing the gyro um changing the gyro from bi-quad to PT1. So now I'm already in here. You see up here that it says the modem 1411. Clear Volt is now on beta flight. So now is all you have to do is you can, you know, check your configuration. I choose multi-shot because I'm still on multi-shot. I kind of dislike D-shot. Um, my opinion, I fly BL Heli, not BL Heli S. Um, and then best settings I've found so far are 8 kilohertz and 8 kilohertz. And then if you go up here and click this motor PWM, change this to 16 kilohertz, which is 16,000, then hit save and reboot. Then once you do this, there's only two more steps you have to complete. First one is go into PID tuning, go into filter settings, gyro notch filter 1 frequency, gyro notch filter 2 frequency. So you have to do zero tab tab zero so both of these both of these right here are at zero so the frequency cutoff does not matter anymore you do have the option to uh, make the determ notch filter frequency right here to zero um, I have found five inch and six inch builds really do not um, benefit from this it's mainly these two notch filters and then last but not least if you have a really noisy setup like by props on a six inch um, which stemmed from a lot of my issues with race race flight and which a lot of the reasons why I am not on race flight anymore because they just do not listen to their alpha testers which is another video but it is what it is so you can say get low pass once you hit that, you will see all these. This is your gyro, gyro low pass. You're allowed up to zero to 252, servo low pass. We don't use that many quads. <clears throat> D-term low pass. So the D-term low pass is on bi-quad by default. Is all you have to do. These are the allowed values, the BT1, bi-quad, and FIR. If you double click this, hit copy, go down here, hit set, then paste, and then backspace one, you see it says bi-quad. Just change this to PT1, hit enter, hit save, then hit enter again, and your quad on beta flight now flies pretty much identical to race flight one now. Um, other people might say, 
Eh, well, you don't have 32 kilohertz. Trust me, I've been on 32 kilohertz for a year and a half. 32 kilohertz is fine, but here is the main thing that I will venture to say, which other people might say I'm crazy or I'm not crazy, but if I'm in a racing environment, in a racing environment, I'm, let's just say you're at 75% throttle the whole time, which you're not, but let's just say that you are. You're hauling ass through gates, blah, 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 blah. If you go to correct something, granted your rates have a big, uh, a, a big factor in this, but if your quad responds to every millisecond and even faster than you can possibly put your sticks, you are going to overshoot. And it's what I found out in the last couple of days going to beta flight instead of race flight is the welcomed lag, which is not that much at all, but the welcomed little bit of lag not only helps with going through gates and hauling ass through gates, but it also ha uh, helps with freestyle because A, race flight one has bounce back. It's just the end of the day, it does. If you're on 193 configurator and firmware, it does not have bounce back. Everything above that, I don't care what they say, it has bounce back, period. They cannot get it to not have bounce back. And matter of fact, I challenge Preston and Kalen to make it not have bounce back because if you do, then I know what you did, and that's a good thing. <laughs> but I don't think you will do that. Anyway, freestyle, same thing, you know. I'd rather not have bounce back, and I'd ha rather have smooth video. So here is what it is. That's that's what I have done. Um, I, I I'm not a crazy race flight one hater. I'm not a crazy beta flight supporter. But I do know that they fly pretty dang similar, especially with these settings right here. So um, if you like this, cool. And um, if you don't, it's okay too. Uh, there's firmware for each and every individual, and there's, you know, we will do what we do, and we'll continue to fly multi-copters. So, you guys have fun, and I hope you enjoyed.